Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today I want to talk about the uh, incredible snap-on diamond-coated bit. Uh, this is a Phillips number two that I got not too long ago, and you saw it on an unboxing video. Um, but anyway, I've been using it and trying some different things with it, and I, I, I can't get over just how amazing it is. Um, one of the things that you know most people notice when they first get a bit um, that's pretty sticky is you know when they pull their tool off. Um, or their, their handle off, the bit stays in the workpiece. Well, this is a regular snap-on bit and it's easy to get out. Um, but if you um, have a nice solid connection on, a, on the diamond bit, um, no, it's not gonna come out. And in fact, there it is, look at that, on a block of wood. It's in there nice and solid. Um, and I decided I'd try to figure out just how strong that is. Um, so what I did is I came up with a, a way to kind of test it. This is a Diablo bit holder. It's got a locking mechanism, which of course you need because the magnet isn't strong enough. And then I just put a piece of um, that kind of pipe tape or plumber's tape. Um, and, you know, as I've showed you in another video, this is just so easy to make this stuff do anything you want. Um, I used a snap-on um, uh, punch to expand the hole to the right size where it would stay in tight with just a small band. And then what I want to do is put it on a spring scale like this and then drop it on the bit here, uh, which I'll do. It's on and there you go. So I've got a scale and I've got the bit. And then I thought I would just pull the scale here. I'm just sliding this bit out, um, except I maxed out my scale. Um, this scale here goes to 10 newtons. And a newton, um, oh, uh, a way to think about it is maybe there's like four and a half newtons in one foot pound of force. So 10 would be roughly two, feet, two foot pounds of force. Um, is what I'm up against. And as I play with this thing, it's obvious that I'm not anywhere near the end of it. Um, now, the diamond impregnated aspect of these um, allows the kind of the sharp um, diamond parts to dig in. And it isn't just screwing with a, you know, with a, a bit driver um, and, or pushing down. That's great. Um, that's usually enough for most how most jobs. However, if you've got a, a screw that's been stripped um, or, or something's messed up with the head, um, what I usually do is, is set this thing in and then just give it a couple of gentle taps with my wonderful little two ounce blue point. You can use a heavier hammer, but you don't, it doesn't take much um, just to kind of seat it in there. And then you know, that's when I tried it with the, with the uh, scale and it's not coming out. I mean, it's, I'm holding on to a bit here just stuck into the top of a, um, of a regular screw. Um, so I decided I would test this uh, a little more aggressively. Um, so what I needed to do, and I'll just show you, I can, you know, just bend it a little and it pops right out. Just stick it in there. Even with that amount, just it stays. You know, and if I tap it a couple of times, you know, now it's rock solid. That's incredible. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is up the, uh, up the capabilities a little bit of my shop here and bring in uh, my, get that out of the way here my um, materials tester. Um, raise the camera up and what this thing is, move it back maybe, is um, a uh, a uh, machine that allows me to add a slowly and, and increasing amount of force um, by either pushing or pulling against uh, something that's mounted up on top. Um, and in this case, I built this little um, holder. And what I did is I used that Hitachi um, 
bit holder that I didn't really care for. Um, and then I put on the, uh, the new um, Vera one that I have, and I like this um, a lot. This is a, it's a, just a great bit holder. And um, the thing that makes it nice for this test um, is because once it's seated in here, I can release the, uh, the mechanism, and then as soon as a um, little bit of force is added, just snaps right in. Um, so I can pop it out. And then as I lower it down, it'll grab it and I'm not messing it up. So I can actually, I could do some, some finer work with this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is mount this up on top and then I'm going to uh, add the bit uh, into this screw that I've mounted um, to one of the platforms here. And in order to seat this uh, a little tighter, um, I've this is a metal plate here, so what I've got is the wood's extended out, so I'm going to tap on it so I'm not banging on the, uh, um, on the force plate. There we go. So it's in there. And then I'm going to line this up right over the top of it, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to raise it up until it clicks into the uh, mechanism. Okay, it's in. Um, this is kind of loose here, which is what I want. That's nice and snug. And uh, then what I have to do is uh, bring up the computer. So I've got it set up. Um, so what I'm going to do is slowly turn this and increase the force. And I'm going to measure it. I've got Newtons over here, so let's give that a shot. Um, I think I should zero it first since I've been messing around. So, okay, it's zeroed. Now let's give it a, a spin here. So I'm slowly increasing the tension. You can see it rise here. I'm moving up. I'm at just about to get to 50 Newtons. And right there, did it pop or not? No, it's still there. Still going. Come on. Oh my goodness. Over a hundred Newtons. Hundred and fifty. Wow. Okay, a hundred and fifty Newtons. So what is that in, in foot pounds? Um, that's about 33 foot-pounds. Let me blow up this chart here for you so you can see. So what I've got um, is it slowly climbed and then when I got to this point right here, um, you can see that up in the corner there, 150.7 Newtons. Um, or 33.72 uh, foot-pounds of force is what it took to pop this, this um, incredible snap-on bit um, out of a regular wood screw. I can actually unscrew that screw and show you what I got here. That's all it is. Just a wood screw, just stuck it in there, a couple of taps with the hammer, you know, and, and it grabs it. That is incredible. Um, so as far as the snap-on diamond, um, diamond impregnated or diamond coated bits, they are worth every cent. Um, amazing. I'm going to do more with these and probably get a, a set of them. Um, they're just so much fun to use. But anyway, thought you might find that interesting. And with that, Doc out.